Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today we're going to be doing a quick PSA, and then we're going to be doing the World Tournament card review. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first off, let's just start off. We have four maintenance stones or four dragon stones in the in your gift box because of the maintenance that happened last night. Uh, six hour maintenance. We didn't actually get a lot from. Them. I figured we'd be getting a lot. I guess they were just doing server prep for the world tournament since it's going to be a five day grind fest, and they wanted to make sure we were set during the actual grind. We have the Goku Junior card translated, so that's good. That's really awesome information. When, when this event comes out, I'll be doing a full card review. Um, I do have the information. There is a Reddit post that I actually saved. That goes over all damage calculations for this card. I'm also working on my own uh, calculator for card review and card analysis. Uh, if you guys saw my other video yesterday where I did the Super Saiyan Blue versus, or the Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue versus the Super Saiyan Kaioken Gokus, I'm doing something a lot more in depth and I'm working with the Reddit community and Facebook community to make sure that the damage calculations are correct. So that way, you know, there's no misinformation that everything looks proper and it all looks good. Anyway, if, if you guys are have a really well, good understanding of in-game mechanics and damage calculation and math, let me know in the comments below and I'll send you over the link. Don't worry, I'm going to make a full video announcing it. So if you guys aren't or aren't good with math or aren't sure um, how the in-game mechanics work, I will be sharing it out once it's been peer-reviewed. I don't want to give it out until that time, though. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this with Goku Jr. translation is here so that's awesome we when that card comes out make sure you grind him he is one of the best free to play cards that we have um we uh, bandai has been slowly get, giving us the downloads for it so i'm assuming he's coming soon i would assume he's going to come in august but there's no official word on that i'll let you know when that happens uh the next one is all oh, the super saiyan vegeta world tournament starts tonight 11 30 pdt and that translates to about 2 30 in the morning eastern time for us over on the east coast we now have the awe inspiring evolution super saiyan vegeta pretty cool card he's not one of the best in my opinion but he's a pretty damn decent unit overall i mean he's not the best prize i don't you know i wouldn't grind the tournament just for this card i wouldn't grind the tournament for all the other reasons to grind the tournament but overall he's not bad he doesn't have a doken awakening as of yet uh leader skill is when hp is 30 percent or above key plus three and attack and defense plus 30 percent so not bad for a rainbow leader uh, he gives everyone key plus three attack and defense plus 30 percent only good if you don't have anyone uh, because that 30 percent uh, restrictive is not that bad actually it's really hard to drop below 30 percent once you drop below 30 percent yeah, you're kind of screwed but at that point you know you're gonna want to use a sense of being anyway and you'll only have to go one turn uh big bang attack causes supreme damage to the enemy greatly lowers defense so he greatly lowers defense so he's going to be a broly killer you can throw him on plus he's a strength so he's going to be good for the physical round his passive skill measure of power attack and defense plus 80 percent when hp is 80 percent or above and that's where this card becomes a real pain in the butt because you want to keep him between that 30 percent and that 80 percent so you only have a 50 percent health margin where you want to stay between so that way you're getting both his passive and his leader skills active that's why this card i would say is not really that great if you aren't using him as a leader if you're not using him as a leader then just below 80 percent but even at that point below 80 percent yeah, it may be easier to do but you need literally need to wait for your health to drop below 80 percent i mean i guess if you're running on the board you have to get a couple hits from uh the key blasts before you go into battle that might help you out but once you use a sensu bean or any type of healing item you're kind of screwed in that aspect i mean he will be a tank at that point because his defense gets shot up by 80 percent on a super saiyan 4 goku team he's going to do crazy damn well crazy defending and some decent damage especially with the uh, supreme damage multiplier the link skills are super saiyan saiyan warrior race golden warrior royal lineage prepared for battle and the saiyan lineage it's actually funny, he hits off every single link from the strength trunks. I'm actually going to go over and talk about that real quick right now. Um, so this is the Vegeta that we're getting in the World Tournament. This is the trunks that I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to open... There we go. Super Saiyan 2 Trunks Teen, a meaningful strike. He has all of them off. Uh, his passive is the one where attack and defense is plus 25%, so he's going to give everyone else a good, nice attack buff. Um, and this is burning attack, raises attack for three turns. So overall, not a bad card at all. He's a decent unit. He's, I don't believe he's optimal for a strength team, but he is a prime pick for a strength team. So that's awesome. Um, this Vegeta also links really well to LR Broly. I figured I threw him in here because once I saw that he had uh, Saiyan, uh, the Saiyan lineage, I was like, oh, he'd probably be good with Broly. And he is. He gives Broly three key and a 10% attack buff. So having him will help you guys out, get your Broly key and some attack damage. Um, he doesn't really link too well with the Super Saiyan Goku. Gives him the key and the Super Saiyan, just like every other pretty much prepared for battle Super Saiyan uh, in the world. In Well, at least in this world. Um, and yeah, I just threw him on here to show you an optimal team or a more optimal team, what, what you could do with him. Uh, we don't have this Doken Waken of Bardock yet, but we should be getting him soon. 
But yeah, overall, he links very well with this trunk. So if you don't have all the optimal cards and you have this trunks, the the Vegeta might be worth it for you because then these two will. Well, first off, the trunks is gonna buff up Vegeta's attack and defense, and since Vegeta already gives himself an attack and defense boost once his 8 speed is 80% or below, these two are going to have really, really good synergy. I mean, they give each other, what, the um, Golden there we go, Golden Warrior for key plus 1, Saiyan Warrior race attack plus 700, um, and then they give each other, what, that's, f what, 2, 4, 5 key total? 5 key, and if you're running a 6, they're getting 11 key, if you're, if you're getting a, a double 3 key lead. So, that they're literally giving each other 11 key total when they're paired together. Plus, they get the 10% buff um, from Super Saiyan, and then Saiyan War Race is plus 700. So, they're not going to be doing amazing damage, but Trunks' is passive attack plus 25%, and Vegeta's passive of attack plus uh, 80%, uh, they're definitely going to be doing really well, and that Vegeta's going to tank even better. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's that. Uh, let's see what I want to go over. Oh, I guess a really quick PSA. Um, best stages to farm gems on the JP side. I guess it's 27-1. I, I've only grinded up to level uh, area 21. I haven't gone further on the JP side myself. I still have a whole bunch of stones I haven't grinded out. But apparently 27-1 is a really good stage to grind out gems. But yeah, guys, outside of that, the Vegeta is a pretty damn decent character. He's not horrible. He's not amazing. I probably wouldn't run, consider running him on a team. But if you don't have an uh, optimal team, he is not that bad. Wow, it looks like there's actually a heart right here in his super deck. Uh... Anyway, that's it, guys. Stay tuned. My World Tournament team building guide is going to be coming a little bit later on today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.